good day from me here, Lamin Fofana in the Gambia. Um, today, Friday, the 28th May 2021, we're going to look at Google Sheet online spreadsheet. Okay. Um, today, we're going to look at how do we use Google Sheet image function together with VLOOKUP to present a sales report, okay? Um, so the uses and benefits of this presentation today, uh, one, it will be for report visualization, of course, for ease of referencing, okay? Uh, for example, if you have plenty of uh, inventory or stock, and you want to prepare a sales report, you can easily see your, 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 your products in their picture form, you know, uh, attached to each of the, the, the details. Uh, of course, uh, product identification uh, becomes a lot easier, okay? And of course, there are a lot of other uh, benefits. So, uh, in this presentation, you're going to learn the following spreadsheet functions. Uh, one is the image function. The image function is beautiful with Google Sheet. And uh, you're going to learn the VLOOKUP function. And uh, last but not the least, data validation. Data validation is a very, very useful tool in both Google Sheet and uh, uh, Excel spreadsheets. Okay. So, um, of course, the presentation is done by my humble self. And if you want to enjoy more of this, do not hesitate to subscribe to my channel. Um, I'll be trying to, you know, um, publish at least one or two pitch, one or two uh, videos in a week. Okay, so subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon, so that you do not have to miss any of my videos okay so um what we're going to show you will be something like this so we have a sales report as you can see this will be from our database this might be generated either from our internal software our sales software or we can even generate this from a spreadsheet, either an Excel spreadsheet or a Google Sheet spreadsheet. Okay, so this is the data of the sales for the month of April. The name of the product, of course, we want to see the visualization. We want to see uh, the, the sales amount for the month. So this is the cumulative sales for SOFA, 900,000 in the month of April. Cumulative sales for CARE, you have the picture here, 150,000 cumulative sales for BED, you know, 550,000 the total sales of 1.6 million, okay? Let's assume that this is a big database that has got, let's say, 1,000 records or even more, and that you want to generate report uh, for specific uh, products, um, and you want to be able to visualize them. So. From this database, we could generate a report, okay? We could generate a report by, you know, um, validating it, and of course, by the use of uh, VLOOKUP, okay? So let's say um, we want um, the sales for bed, okay? We have bed there at the moment. Let's say we want the sale for CARES for the month of April, we can query it from this database. So what you do is you just come here and you select care, for example. Once you select care, the care picture will come and it's going to bring its sales of 150. Then you come, let's say you want sofa, you can just come and select sofa. Once you select sofa, the picture will display and then the sales will come here. So this is just a simple picture, but assume you have a big database that has got plenty of rows easily you can be able to query your you can be able to query the the, the, the sales details 
of each of the products you want. And you can do as many as you can. Just want to keep it simple for the sake of time. Okay, so this is exactly what we're coming to do. So how do we do this is what I'm coming to uh, show you. Right, so uh, we go on to the practicalities. Right, so this is the sales data. I'm going to assume that we already have this data. So this time around is for the month of March. We have the sofa sales of 1.2, care of 125, bed of 700,000. Okay, so we have the, the product details here. So we want to attach a picture. How do you attach a picture? Um, so you can attach this picture um, from your, your, your website, assuming that the name of the business is Quality Furnace Limited. You can get the picture of your products here. You could link them easily. Or you could, you know, Google it. For example, if I need a sofa, I could just Google it. You know, and then I'll attack the uh, image here. So, how do you do that? We use image function, Google Sheet image function. Okay. So, we come here, we want the image to appear on the column C, that's C9 in particular. So, we just click and say equals image. So, you type image. So, once you type IMAG, image will display. So, just click on it, it's going to open you need the URL of the image, okay? That's the website address of the image. So in order to do that, um, you must go to the website. But before we go there, you must quote the URL, the URL address with double inverted comma. So that's um, double inverted comma open. Then you go to the website, you look for the picture of a sofa, Okay, you look for the picture of a sofa. Okay, let's look for one. So let's assume that this is the sofa we want. So click on it. Once you click on it, okay, the picture will display. And then you right click and say copy image address. Copy image address. You go back to your worksheet and then you click inside the formula bar and then right click and say paste. Once you right click and paste, the website address will, will return. You close your double inverted comma, you have a comma after that, and then two. So what two means will be the, once you put two there, that means the image will nicely fit into the shell, okay? Because this is like, you're trying to insert an image in a cell, okay? So you put comma two and you close the bracket, you enter, okay? So once you enter, the sofa will be displayed. You want, you could expand it a bit, okay? You could expand it so that it can be visible, but the more you expand it, the more it expands with the cell. So it does not, um, you know, uh, it does not go without the cell. So let's say we want to align all of the cells. So I just highlight all of them and then I just do the, uh, the adjustment once and for all. Okay, so that's our sofa for us. Okay, so let's say we want to do the same thing for the care. Okay, so we could go here first. Okay, we could go here first. Um, don't hide my, sorry. Sorry, I need to get access, right, that's better. Okay, so we could just go to the website where we can get our picture first. Okay, so we want a care. Let's say, let's go, let's go, on. let's click this, let's close this first and then go and look for a care. Okay, like I said, equally you could get this from your website or you could get it anywhere, but it has to be on the web. Okay, it has to be on the web. Okay, let's say we want to use, uh, okay, right, 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 this one, make sure I get something right. So let's use this one, this is handy. 
Okay, so we click it. Then we right click inside and say, copy image address. Go back to our file. Click the cell where we want it to go and we start our folder. We say equals image. Click on that. We do our double quotes. We right click to paste and then close. And then we say comma two and then close the brackets. Then we enter. So that's the care for us. Right. So we do the same thing for the bed. Equals image. Invalid comma open. We go to the web. Okay, where are we? Right, so it's already open for us. Then we go and select the bed. Okay, where is the bed? Where is the bed? Okay, so we can choose this bed. So we just click on it, right click and say copy image address, go back to the worksheet and paste it here. We make sure you click inside the formula bar and then right click and say paste. We do the double inverted comma close comma two to make sure it fits in the cell nicely, close the bracket, enter. Okay, so that's a bad, excellent. So this is the way we link a picture on the web to our worksheet, nicely, look at that, the way they fit nicely. Right, so what we're going to do is um, this report here, this database here is supposed to be linked to a report, which is an individual report, furniture sales report for individual products. Okay, so it's going to look like this. Um, we have the name of the product, the picture, and the sales for April. So we should say sales for March. So we just say March 2021. Okay, so we're going to first validate the, we're going to validate the cell so that we can be able to choose any of the products here. Any of the products on our database will be able to choose them. It can go as, you know, long as one thousands of rows, you know, it depends. So you can just validate so that you can be able to choose any of them. So to validate, we, we want to validate only one cell, that's uh, B9. So we click on B9. We go to the menu that says data, data validation. Okay. Um, we're going to validate using a criteria. A criteria will be list from a range. So we just click on that and then we click here to enter the range. So the, uh, the range will come from this worksheet. So that will start from here, here. Here to keep it simple, we have only three products. Then we say, okay. Right, so in order to validate, we need to reject uh, inputs that don't meet the validation criteria. So we click here and uh, we want users to, uh, so, uh, we want to show validation help text so that users can be able to see that it has been validated. So we click here and then we say save. So once you say save, you come back, you see, in order to know that the validation is done, you look for this. Okay, so this drop down, uh, uh, this drop down menu will tell you that the validation has been done successfully. So once you click here, you will see the items that are supposed to be selected so the validation is okay right so we've done the validation so that we can be able to select any of them we can be able to select sofa we can be able to select care 
we can be able to select that. And if there are any other items within this list, we can be able to select it. Okay. So for now, let's just delete whatever so that we can leave it um, empty. So we're going to validate, uh, so we're going to um, uh, use VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP is a powerful function. We're going to use VLOOKUP so that um, if we choose any of the products here, the picture will automatically be displayed here. And of course, the sales amount will automatically be displayed here. So we use that, we do that by use of VLOOKUP. So how to do VLOOKUP, we come here and say, we go to the cell where we want to do the VLOOKUP, we say equals VLOOKUP. So once you do V, all the functions starting with V will pop up. We just double click on that. It has opened up. So the criteria will be here, okay? And uh, the lookup area will be from this database. So we can start from here all the way to the last one. Then we press F4 to make sure that the range does not change. Okay, we do a comma and we want to return the second one, which is the picture. So we do two comma and then we type false. False meaning to return the exact line. So we close the bracket, we enter. So once we enter, NA will display because there is nothing here. Okay, so we could just, once we click here, we say so far, so far will display. Once we come here, we click bed, bed will display like that. Okay, so let's say we want to return, um, okay, we're not going to do anything for now, so let's just delete. Once you delete, any will come because um, this, the, the cell here is empty. That's why it's giving us hashtag NA. Okay, you can do that by the use of um, if error to, to avoid that, but that's not the subject of the uh, discussion today. So we can do the same VLOOKUP here so that the sales figure can also return. So we say equals VLOOKUP. Um, this is the lookup if you want to see what. So the search key is what we do. The search key will be the name of the product. The range is where you're going to search it. And the index is the column number to return once you've seen what you're trying to search. Right, so um, the search key is here. So we just click here. We say comma. Comma separates the various parts of the formula. Then we go to the area where we want the search to be conducted on. So we click on here all the way to the end. We make it concrete or we make it, um, uh, we, just, uh, go, we just do um, function key F4 to ensure that the the, the, the area is fixed. So we do a comma, and then the column to return will be, so you always start from the search key column. That's one, two, three. So we say three. We say comma, if we want exact search to return, we say false, F-A-L-S-E. And we close the bracket, we enter. Okay, still the same issue, because this has not been selected, it's bringing us uh, any. So if we want to test this, let's go and select any of them. Let's say we want sofa. Once we select sofa, look at it, sofa picture will come and the sales for sofa will also display. If you want to confirm, you can come to your database. In our database, this is the sofa picture and this is the sales, okay? Let's say we want another product that's bad. So we choose bad. Bad picture will display and the sales will also display 700,000. When you go to your main data, the bed is definitely 700,000. Okay, so this is where I'm going to end. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, if you enjoyed this video, try and subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button at the right corner, at the right bottom corner of the video and hit the bell icon to ensure that you don't miss any of my videos. Uh, thank you so much for having me and 
I wish we're going to meet next time. Inshallah. Thank you so much.